Well, by the time we get to this point in January, Christmas bells are quiet and the countdown clock to the new year has stopped. But for one local family, clocks and bells mean big business the whole year through. What about it, huh? It was back in 1842 when a local company made its very first clock installation, the one there at the top of Old St. Mary's Church. A lot of times passed since then, but that company still ticking today. When we turned 175 years, we cast our own bell. And so this was a bell that shows the different areas of our accomplishments, starting with Old St. Mary's in 1842. Bob Verdon is the CEO of the Verdon Company, bells, clocks, and towers. Now into its sixth generation, as the family business for over 180 years. My generation, the sixth, our fathers, grandfathers, great-grandfathers, great-great-grandfathers, and great-great-great-grandfather. So cool. when we get to the seventh generation, I guess we're gonna have to cast a new bell. Go ahead and make another bell. Yeah. And that seventh generation better be ready. The clock, tower, and bell business is booming. We ship about 18 to 20 of these clocks a month. You heard that right, 18 to 20 a month. Most of these types of clocks go to golf courses, even the Phoenix Open. They pop up in small towns too. The faces and hands sync to electronic timers these days. Some clients even elect for electric carillons on certain projects. But for Bob, there's just nothing like a good old fashioned bell at the top of a tower. You know, I still do a lot of traveling, still do a lot of tower climbs, and to go up in a bell tower and see a bell ringer from the 20s or even the early 30s and it's still working, it's pretty awesome. That know, you know, knowing that my grandfather or my father even installed that back in the 50s. Sometimes an old bell needs a little tender love and care though, and bells from all across the country get sent here to get just that, whether they were first made here or not. This load of bells came in from Fort Wayne, Indiana during our visit. A big, big part of our business is taking old bells like this yeah. and redoing them, reconditioning them. It's, the bells are fine, the bells are 100%. It's all the workings on how the bells are hung in a bell tower. This one was made in Paris in 1729, but ended up somehow in a church in Texas. Nobody really knows how, even the church. It's not all old bells though. This is our furnace and this is where we cast the bells. Here, bars of raw bronze get heated to a pouring temperature of 2200 degrees to make new chimes ring out. Sometimes a new bell needs a new tower, like the great big one we saw getting lifted and lowered in the back. It's sort of a one-stop shop, not so much a nickel and dime store, but more of a bronze and chime store, open to the world. We go all over the United States, we go all over Canada. We have installations in over 30 foreign countries. So next time you're at a town square and see a clock tower, or you hear the chimes ringing from the top of a church, if you were to ask Verdon if it's one of theirs, it just might ring a bell. And we've got one more rather unusual bell to share with you. <laughs> this is the bell Verdon made for Hershey, for Hershey, Pennsylvania. You see it's in the shape of a kiss. Kiss even has a little plume there off the top. I wonder how they did it. Isn't that neat? How did they do that? Because the molds are, you know, all kind of standard. Yeah, created, I guess, a, a special mold specifically That's really for neat. that one. But they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. I, 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 was, I was sort of amazed. You heard that 18 to 20 of those clocks anyway, they do a month. Yeah. Like I just a, wouldn't have imagined there'd be that much business for that kind of thing. The need for clocks, yeah. especially with phones and iPads and everything these days. Well, you, you know, know, but if you're, you're yeah. in a town, little town square, sure. if you're on a golf course or something like that, right. you probably got a clock like that. Yeah. And it's probably one of theirs. That's kind of neat. Yeah. I'm going to have to look and see if my uh, my hometown, Sydney, Ohio, if the clock up there in the courthouse. Wouldn't is surprise me. I bet it is.